Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Blade and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. Now let's get right back into it. Nice pirate hat and an eye patch. I'm kind of jealous. I kind of want those. <laughs> kind of a, a filthy room oh my gosh yeah a freaking some kind of thing with the flipping off hand nice it's all rainbow colored as well so yes I understand Square Enix you took control of the series you better not mess it up freaking and Chloe's just passed right out she doesn't have a hangover though because I did not drink that much or make her drink that much I mean She looks kind of depressed. Nothing like a smoke first thing in the morning. Something tells me that's not a cigarette. <laughs> I was just gonna say. Episode one, awake. Okay. Oh, okay, I can leave this. Let's go do something, Chloe. We got trouble to get into. The series is going to be filled with copyright Sometimes, claims. All I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. I mean, you kind of already do that all the time, anyways, right? Hey, Max. Oh. Another day in paradise. Right. That's sad. That. That hurts. <laughs> Let's look at this. Daily rituals are important, even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Aw. Uh, Max, the loser, 5710. Yeah, that's right. I called you a loser. Want to know why? Because you weren't at Firewalk last night. Even Frank was there. He's my dealer. <laughs> or mom, if you're reading this, here's my deal, or he's my dealer, and you shouldn't be reading this. It was maybe the greatest night of my life. I hiked to the old mill using the train tracks, then verbally abused this dumb bouncer until he let me inside. Firewalk was the shit. Who know ragers like that went down in little old Arcadia Bay? Fuck Seattle. Plus, I have a sweet ass black eye for a souvenir. Uh, NBD, but there were these two asshole skeevy guys who, uh, manhood, whose manhood I wrecked. Oh yeah, and I got rescued by the most popular girl at school. How is your night loser, Firework, or Firewalk plus Chloe, uh, is greater than Max? Okay, she's got lots of pent. Oh, this is really sad. She's got a lot of pent up stuff against Max. Um, dear Max, Dad got me the stationery one day when I complained about wanting to send an email and the internet was down. And tonight I thought, hey, maybe it's time to write Max. The funny thing is, I don't really know what to say, because we haven't talked in three months. Despite all my calls and texts, and not that I'm upset or anything, fuck, there's no way I'm sending this. <laughs> this is there. Chloe the Unfriended. Aww. Uh, Max. Uh, now this is more like it. Here I can write to you all I want without wondering or worrying if you'll ever write me back. Maybe one day uh, when you return and apologize for having forgotten all about me and we kiss and make up, I'll show you, you this to you and you can read it and laugh. Or maybe I'll decide that Journal Max is way cooler than Reality Max and you'll just live in here forever as my little imaginary former current best friend, pen pal. Next, uh, time will tell. <laughs> Chloe the Journal Boss. Uh, put your thoughts in me. Oh, that's awkward. Uh... Ready? So mom suggests uh, uh, taking a road trip next summer, and I'm like, cool, I guess. But then she starts talking about David being there. Yes, that David. The wannabe drill sergeant who swooped in on mom and has stuck around like a bad zit. David the mustache monster from Planet Dipshit. That fucking David. Anyway, I politely suggested to mom that perhaps it was too early to assume David would be in the picture by then. Or breathing. Hey, shit happens. As you might imagine, that didn't go over well. But really, if this guy's still around three months from now, then she's got serious self-esteem issues and I've got serious self-emulation, look it up nerd, plans. 
Uh, she can do better. That's all I meant. But she didn't want to hear it. Like I'm the asshole. Chloe the asshole. I like that picture that was drawn. Um, this is... Okay, so this is going in chronological order, right? Except for this one, which was the recent one. Most... I don't know. A freaking... This is confusing. There's no, like, stop. Anyways. Um, so you know how I stopped going to class so much? Like, you stopped talking to me so much? Funny story. I had trouble coming up with an excuse, so I just didn't I just didn't show up and it was fine nobody said anything to me crazy right it's like I'm invincible all of a sudden maybe that's the perk of being the dead dad girl no one knows what to do with me so they actually uh, they're actually relieved when I stay home um, wish I'd figured this out sooner think of all the wasted school time PS purse from Blade Runner popped into my head last night uh, last time I rubbed one I mean at first I was thinking about de oh my god why am I reading this part <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> enough reading her journal. Do I actually get eggs and bacon? Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes. That girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? Who knows? Who knows what happened last Smoke night? Cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. I mean, probably. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. I, mm, you know, it really isn't. You need your vitamins. Turn that off. Um, what is this? Look. I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Uh, why can't you be more positive? Ha 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 ha. Ha. Uh, how do I improve? She's always got that marker. Better living through chemistry. Uh, okay. Anyways. <laughs> that really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? How can you even, how can you even tell from that picture? Everybody's got like no face. It's horrifying. <laughs> and what's up with your trippy computer? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Uh, dear Miss Arcadia, did you hear about Fire Rock coming to town? I checked all the local venues, but no, nobody knows anything. Uh, not all the vi uh, local venues, apparently. Don't know, but bumping the thread, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not reading all this. Anyways, I'm guessing that's how she figured out about uh, Fire Rock. Um, let's look at this food. I'm so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. Yeah. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Glowy bear. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Uh, whoa. Is that? I used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid. But then all the unicorns died. Oh, yeah. Have you seen the last unicorn? Yeah. Anyways. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Um, nope. You're not a shark. That's not how that works. But, you know, whatever. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. Ha ha ha, pirate power. Uh, can I listen to it? I want to know what it sounds like. <laughs> I'm just digging through her as entire awesome room. As some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. I saved all of these. You have to delete that photo of me dancing. Ha ha, only you could get me to loosen up like that. <laughs> what the frick? Okay... Uh, curious. Anyways, a uh, nice poster. Uh, it looks kind of like a penis head skeleton. I'm just saying. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. All right. Skateboard. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Uh, I mean, it can. Nice one, Chloe. Mom's gonna love the new look. It's, you know, it's not even that bad, okay? It's not even, per like, deep purple. He, like, barely hit I you. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. Mmm, booty. Anyways, <laughs> time to get dressed. Wow, look at all these shirts. We got the... Uh, oh, there we go. We got the Firewalk shirt, which is awesome. A butterfly shirt, 
bonus outfits more bonus outfits uh uh what the frick is classic chloe what's that look like it's not permanent is it i i didn't want to make my choice yet i just want to know what it looked like okay it's pretty good okay let's see what else there is though <laughs> It's time to dress up Chloe, you guys. What outfit will we try next? Oh, nope, I didn't. Okay, whatever. Ooh, dashing. Cute and yet not cute at all. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> I wanted to see this one <laughs> because it's freaking, uh, the funniest of all the bonus ones. Hot dog man! <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I'm digging it. I think I'm just going to stick with classic Chloe because I like the, the outfit. There we go. Looking dope as she is. Can't leave without my vitamins. What does that mean? Oh, come on. When I said vitamins, I didn't mean vitamins like that. Oh, come on, Chloe. Don't you know they make delicious gummy I really bear vitamins? Get going. <sighs> I mean, yeah. Shit. Where's my phone? Oh, come on. Don't make me look for your it's phone. It's not here. How drunk was I last night? You weren't. Hey, I said breakfast. <laughs> you had one beer. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Who even who even gets drunk off of one beer? Like beer is I mean, come on. Okay. It's weak. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Okay, cool. Uh, first, I want to look at all this stuff. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. I, I like all the pirate stuff. I love it. Medicine. Let's open and steal some freaking drugs. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair is his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. <laughs> Uh, don't do that. Don't. Please. <laughs> uh, what's up with this? Look, look at it. Look home at it! sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. Okay. Fantastic. Where's the mood music? It's very quiet. Hey, look at the... Wait, hold on. No, no, actually, look... Okay, whatever. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? Uh-oh. That's not good. That's no good. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna snoop through everything and unlock all the dialogue options. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. Well, it's it'd be weird if you, you know, had it out in the open. It'd be weird. You try to, you have to move on, you know? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Yeah. But you can't let that thing shackle you, you know? Whatevs. It's her dad. There's the music I was looking for. <laughs> Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. Why don't you grab the condoms and throw them out the window? That would be what I'd do if I didn't want them to do it. I'd be like, ha! Can't do it now. I hope, I hope, I hope you don't do it now. Smartphones. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Um, I don't know. What do you want me to do? Aren't you supposed to call? With the phone. There you go. All right, time to check that phone. It sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Okay, it is in the bathroom. How did I miss it? There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Zero. Uh, 
Uh, oh, no, I have to do the thing. Oh, Max. This... Okay, wait, hold on. Let's go all the... I'm doing it. I'm going all the way up. Okay. So sorry. I've been bad about emailing. Texting is better for me anyway. Yo, it's Max. How's it going? You there? Gah, yeah, sorry again. I've been really busy. You'd love Seattle. More in a bit. Cool. Maybe some hitchhiking in my future. Hey, hippie. I'm so sorry. Maybe we should get up a uh, time to call. No worries. I'll check my dance card. It's 7 p.m. in Arcadia Bay. Uh, what is it? 2019 in Seattle? I uh, know, right? Maybe this weekend. Sure, anytime. Let me know. Uh, yo, que uh, queen of the crickets. What's the latest? Max. That's sad. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. I didn't actually yeah, mean yeah. to exile the phone. Okay. Is there a way to get back to the phone? I think is there a way? I think I saw mom's purse in her room. It's too late now. Can't do it. Um, okay. How she even know I'm up? Well, maybe maybe she knows because she heard me walking around. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, no, don't look at it. Just you grab it. Mom would keep a picture of Dad on there. Wait. Oh, purse, not phone. <laughs> Duh. I do this all the time, where I hear one thing and think another. Uh, what's with the? I don't want to read the book. I want Mom to be happy, but not like this. I'm not. Not reading like that. this. <laughs> I'm, I'm seriously not reading that. What's in this drawer? Huh? We got anything freaking there we go. Got anything fun in there? It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Yeah, that's weird. My mom does that too. Uh what am I looking at? Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Where wait, where's this purse? Where's this purse I'm looking for? Did she say something about it being in the room? Where? Am I not looking for? Why did I feel like I was looking for a purse? I have no clue. Whatever. Wait, mom wanted me to bring her purse. I am looking for a purse. Then where the flip is it? <laughs> I don't know where it is. I just checked freaking. I checked everywhere. I looked in the thing. See, I looked. It's not in there. I looked in the room. Freaking. Chloe, you're gonna be late for school. There it is. Shut up! I don't care. I'm not going to school. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? Why am I your slave? Freaking. No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah. What dawdle? That really makes me want to hurry. What dawdle so hard? That, I don't even know what that means Coming, in the context Mom. I'm using it, but I'm gonna. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. You might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Shh. What is? Whatever, Mom. Dining table, here I come. Wow. Great direction, game. <laughs> Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. Uh, like a week. Like a week's time, I bet. Gimme. Give Gimme give some whatever it is. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner-type food. Yeah, no. I get that. I get that. Plus, bacon is so unhealthy, even though it is delicious. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. Uh-oh. That means it's for David. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Sugar bombs? Is this fallout? Oh, crap. We gotta find a shelter. <laughs> wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna read this. <gasps> shipyard closing. The real estate developer, Steve Prescott, promised that employee layoffs would be minimal when he purchased the shipyard. He announced this week that he would be ending operations effective immediately in a move not surprising to the longtime residents of the region. The Prescott Foundation also liquidated the Arcadia Bay Steve Doors. The association defined pension plan. Michelle Kinsey Robertson, staff attorney for the foundation, defended the action as our right in recouping unrecovered losses against debts owed. Steve Prescott cannot be reached for comment. They want to get some fireworks. <laughs> a wildfire warning has been issued for all residents of Arcadia Bay. Uh, you shouldn't this do that, is people. Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, <laughs> Chloe, you're poor and in trouble. Okay. 
tuition hike. Let me be empathetic. This is not due to financial woes, says Principal Ray Wells. After a survey of the tuitions of prestige academic, uh, academies, ac academies, I don't know why I kept more than six academics or something, of similar caliber, we are simply keeping ourselves competitive. Blackwell parents invest in their children, not their uh, vacation homes. Uh, Wells uh, further emphasized that in addition to merit-based tuition awards this year won by sophomore Stella Hare Bebez, but that the school's program have rebased scholarships remain in place for students who maintain exceptional academic records. Sounds more like to me that he's just being an a-hole. Schools are way overpriced. Anybody who's going to college right now, you're paying too much, and that's the end of the discussion right there. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Oh. Uh, there's your purse. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should Jeez. see what mom wants before she strokes out. Well, stroke out. I'm looking at stuff. Made What's that this? for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. They don't even let you make those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? Uh this will defend. Um, they don't even let you make ashtrays in art class anymore in schools. It's stupid. It's freaking, I mean, not that they look cool or nothing, but it's still and stupid. I, mom's wine. I think the only reason mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. Ha ha ha. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Ha ha ha. I get it, because he's living here. It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so... Nobody's fault, really. What, no watering the plants minigame in this one? Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? This is really sad. <laughs> a lot of this is like, Max, you left me, you a-hole. Mom doesn't want me to know. But it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Well, that's concerning. But, I mean, he gets a job. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Uh-oh. Let's open it. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Oh, no. That's 550 bucks. That's like a whole paycheck for me sometimes. Unless I work less, which happened this week. But that doesn't matter. Snow Doe! Great! Good job oh, taking out like, your frustrations. What the hell just happened? <laughs> Chloe happened. All right. Well, I know literally like nothing happened in this episode, but I'm all out of time for it. <laughs> Mom said she wanted to talk to me. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below on what you thought of this episode, and as always, remember to keep the flame alive. Now I've broken the rules. I'm not the one to be. Tired, cold, shaking, and blue. She's on the phone to me